Everywhere you turn on the road today, the paint finish on your vehicle is threatened. Chips, nicks, and scratches have become commonplace with increased road construction, higher traffic volume, and more populated and compact parking areas. Now, with ClearShield paint protection kits, the most chip and scratch prone areas of vehicles receive an increased measure of protection. By applying Clear Shield to the most vulnerable painted areas of an automobile, such as the front of the hood, side mirrors, fenders and bumpers, the vehicle has a strong measure of protection against the everyday hazards that wear down and damage paint finish, such as insect stains, road debris, scratches and chips, winter road salt and sand. You can say goodbye to the cumbersome car bras and unsightly bug shields. Like the name says, Clear Shield is utterly clear and won't alter vehicle appearance. Plus, Clear Shield is completely safe for a vehicle's paint finish. Since Clear Shield patterns are computer cut according to each vehicle's make and model, there's a minimal need for cutting or trimming on the vehicle itself. Best of all, we are so confident in the quality and durability of Clear Shield that we've given it a strong five year limited warranty. For coverage details, review the warranty certificate which is included in each Clear Shield paid protection kit. Throughout the rest of this video, we'll be showing you how to complete a professional Clear Shield paint protection film installation. Be sure to review and thoroughly familiarize yourself with the installation instructions before attempting an installation. To get started, you'll need to assemble the proper tools and supplies. First, begin with a durable polyethylene squeegee. You may want to cut the squeegee in half for ease of use. This type of squeegee will allow you to apply the correct amount of pressure when removing the excess soap solution without damaging the clear shield film. You will also need a soft felt squeegee for vehicles that have severely contoured surfaces. The felt squeegee allows you to use firm pressure without damaging the film surface. Next, you'll need two 32 ounce trigger sprayers. One will be used for the soap solution to help correctly position the film. The other will be used for the alcohol solution which accelerates adhesive bonding and dry time. You may also need a heat gun to remove difficult fingers. The heat gun should only be used on the lowest heat setting. Another important item to have on hand is a general purpose cleaner designed to remove bugs, wax and tar. This will aid in the surface preparation process. And finally, make sure you have a supply of soft, lint-free paper towels on hand. Each of these tools will assist you in your complete professional quality clear shield installation. Now, let's talk about mixing the solutions that you'll be using during your clear shield installation. First, you'll need a soap solution to help you move and position the film on the vehicle while you're preparing to adhere it. It will also be used to allow the squeegee to slide easily over the film during installation. In one of the 32 ounce trigger sprayers, combine 30.5 ounces of water and 1.5 ounces of baby shampoo, which equates to 95% water and 5% baby shampoo. Next, you'll need an alcohol solution to adhere the film to the vehicle. In the other 32 ounce trigger sprayer, mix 22.5 ounces of water with 9.5 ounces of isopropyl alcohol, 70% by volume, which equates to 70% water and 30% isopropyl alcohol. The alcohol solution promotes adhesion to the clear shield film and quickens the dry time. When using the alcohol solution, it's important to work quickly to avoid adhesive lockdown. In warmer temperatures, use a 75% water to 25% alcohol mix to lessen the likelihood of adhesive lockdown. When installing in colder temperatures, a 50% water and 50% alcohol mix is recommended. Now that we've covered all the items you'll need to install your clear shield film, let's discuss the preparation of the vehicle. Proper cleaning and preparation is critical to the success of each installation. For best results, you should perform installations indoors in a well-lit controlled environment between 60 degrees and 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 to 32 degrees Celsius. Additionally, it's imperative that the specific areas where clear shield will be installed are completely free of automotive wax. 
Use a general purpose cleaner and a soft, lit-free paper towel to thoroughly clean these areas. As a final preparation step, wipe down the surface with the alcohol solution to ensure good adhesion of the Clear Shield kit to the vehicle. Always remember to carefully clean your hands prior to an installation. This will help prevent any dirt on your hands from transferring onto or underneath the film. Now, before you remove the protective liner, place the clear shield film on the vehicle to ensure the correct size and placement. Remember to verify the size and placement of all patterns before installation. Once you've completed the vehicle preparation and verified that your clear shield film properly fits, you're ready to begin the installation. Due to their different sizes, small and large patterns each require unique and specific installation techniques. Let's first look at the steps involved for installing a hood piece. Before removing the protective liner, remember to wet your hands thoroughly to avoid contaminating the adhesive with finger or hand prints. Handling the film dry can cause permanent damage and visible marks to the clear shield film. There are two methods to remove the protective liner from the film. The first, a reverse roll is demonstrated here. A second method will be demonstrated later in the video. Begin by spraying the entire hood area with a soap solution. With the clear shield pattern rolled up, pull a small amount of the film from the liner on one end. Using your free hand, wipe dry a small two inch section of one end of the hood dry and place the exposed end of the kit on the dry surface. This will allow the kit to tack itself to the hood. With the rest of the kit rolled up in one hand, use your other hand to hold the end of the material you have pulled loose from the liner down on one end of the hood. Then slowly pull the liner towards the other side of the hood, causing the material to be slowly rolled onto the hood. If the kit has a relief cut in it or an extension piece, be careful when rolling out the material so as not to stretch or damage the film. Be careful not to allow the film to stick to itself. Once the entire pattern is on the vehicle, re-wet the adhesive side of the film with sliding solution to allow the kit to be easily positioned. Repeat this procedure for each side. Remember to be patient and take your time. As long as the adhesive side is wet, you have all the time you need to make placement adjustments of the pattern. Position the pattern approximately 1 16th inch to 1 8th inch from the leading edge of the hood and center it evenly. Depending on the design of the vehicle, the kit may not line up perfectly on the vehicle surface. This is normal, since some pulling and stretching of the material may be required to cover the severe curvature of the vehicle panels. As long as the kit is symmetrical from one side to the other and you are satisfied with its placement, you may proceed to the next step. Once in place, spray a small amount of the alcohol solution under the center of the hood piece. Also, spray the top surface of the clear shield pattern with the solution. This will help lock down the pattern and keep it from moving during the squeegeeing process. Starting at the top center of the pattern, squeegee a 3 to 4 inch wide section from top to bottom. Repeat this squeegeeing process to ensure all the solution is removed from under the film. Clear Shield kit is now anchored to the paint in the desired position and will not move freely. Before proceeding, make sure there are no air pockets trapped under the film. Always overlap your strokes to ensure you do not trap moisture or air. Next, gently lift one end of the pattern up until you reach the lockdown section. Spray the adhesive with the soap solution. Also spray the top of the pattern. Check your alignment points to determine if and where the kit will need to be pulled into position to ensure proper alignment. Make several horizontal passes with the squeegee from the center of the pattern to the first hood contour line. Using short, overlapping strokes, start at the center of the pattern and move towards the outside section of the hood, taking care to remove all moisture from under the film. If mild stretching or pulling is required, Place a hand on top of the material and pull the kit into position, making sure the kit lines up along the side edge of the hood. 
Once in place, use the alcohol solution and spray under the side edge of the film. The alcohol solution will speed up the dry time on the edges and hold the pattern in place. Now, squeegee the side edge in place. This step will ensure the pattern will line up properly during the remaining steps of the installation. Next, spray the alcohol solution under the front leading edge of the pattern. Gently lift the film off the vehicle and squeegee the film in place, taking care to squeegee down the film evenly from top to bottom. Respray the fingers with the alcohol solution to help quicken the dry time, which will allow the fingers to lay down on the surface. If the vehicle has a severely contoured hood like you see here, it may be necessary to form a bridge of film from the top edge of the contour to the lockdown side edge of the hood. This procedure will allow you to stretch the product into the contoured area versus trying to force a large amount of product into a small area. Begin by spraying the alcohol solution into the bridged area from the top and bottom of the pattern. Do not be afraid to use a lot of solution to ensure the product will tack down. Place your fingers or hand in the bridge area to help the film conform to the surface. Now, using the squeegee, lock down the product as you push it into place. By performing this step, the material will stretch down into the heavily contoured areas and pull out the excess material along the front edge of the kit. It is critical to not allow the material to pop back up in this area. Do not proceed until this area is completely locked down. Once the entire side of the pattern is locked down, repeat again on the opposite side of the pattern. After both sides of the hood pattern have been completely secured, re-wet the top surface with soap solution and perform a final squeegee of the entire clear shield pattern to ensure no air or moisture has been trapped. Once you are confident the pattern is securely in place, wrap the squeegee with a soft lint-free paper towel and squeegee around all edges of the pattern. The paper towel will absorb excess moisture and help prevent fingers from forming and the pattern edges from lifting or peeling. If small fingers become difficult to remove, use a heat gun on the lowest setting and apply quick bursts of heat to the fingers. Quickly follow behind with a squeegee wrapped in a lint-free paper towel. The heat will soften the material and the force of the squeegee will allow the film to take the shape of the curved surface. If areas of the clear shield have imperfections from the stretching process, apply heat with the heat gun on the lowest setting and massage the imperfections to reduce their appearance. This can be performed with either a paper towel wrap squeegee or your hand. Now let's take a look at another installation example with a severely contoured hood. We'll demonstrate the second method of removing the liner and techniques used to install the film. Lightly mist the top half of the hood with a sliding solution. This will keep the pattern from lifting off the vehicle when removing the protective liner. With the liner still intact, place the hood pattern with the adhesive side facing up on the hood with the straight edge of the hood facing you. Now remove the protective liner from the pattern. Starting from the corner, pull the liner directly back 180 degrees. Remember the liner should be facing upwards. For either liner removal method, Always remove the liner from the clear shield pattern, not the pattern from the liner. After the liner has been removed, 
Liberally spray the soap solution on the exposed adhesive of the pattern. Also, spray the area of the vehicle to be protected. With clean hands, grab the pattern in such a way that you can easily and carefully flip it over and position it properly on the hood. You will now perform all the installation steps demonstrated in the previous example. Let's pick up this install from the forming the bridge technique. Due to the severe nature of the hood contour in this example, a larger bridge of product must be formed and more excessive stretching of the product is necessary. Once the bridge is formed, begin by spraying the alcohol solution into the bridged area from the top and bottom of the pattern. Do not be afraid to use a lot of the alcohol solution to ensure the product will tack down. Place your fingers or hand on the bridge area to help the film conform to the surface. Due to the extreme contour in this example, a felt squeegee must be used. The felt squeegee will allow you to use firm pressure without damaging the film surface. This squeegee will be used later on in the video during the bumper installation. Using the felt squeegee, lock down the product as you push it into place. By performing this step, the material will stretch down into the heavily contoured area and pull out the excess material along the front edge of the kit. As in our previous example, it is critical to not allow the material to pop back up in this area. Once this area is locked down, install the remaining areas of the pattern as previously described. Repeat this procedure for the opposite side of the pattern. Now let's move on to the fender installation. For small fender pieces, the alcohol solution will be used. Remove the protective liner from the pattern piece. Spray the pattern piece and panel with the alcohol solution. Line up the upper edge of the piece with the edge of the fender. Make sure the front edge of the piece is approximately 1 16th to 1 8th of an inch from the fender front edge. Squeegee a narrow pass along the upper edge of the piece and lock it into place. Once the material is anchored, lift the remaining pattern up and spray generously with the alcohol solution. Next, lay the pattern back down and pull the fender piece by the bottom edge. This will pull the piece to the shape of the fender. Then, using your squeegee, make a firm pass from the locked down top edge to the bottom of the pattern piece. Complete the installation by squeegeeing down any remaining fingers. As a final step, wrap your squeegee and press down any stubborn fingers. If the panel is severely curved, a heat gun on a low setting may be required to remove small fingers as previously described in the hood installation section of this video. If necessary, clear shield film can be gently pulled back off the surface, then resprayed and repositioned. This is helpful if you notice dirt, debris, or air trapped under the material. Most small amounts of moisture will evaporate over time. All air pockets must be removed. Attempts to pull back the clear shield material must occur within the first 10 minutes of the install or excessive damage to the pattern will occur. Next, we'll be installing the mirror piece. First, 
Hold the pattern with one hand while removing the protective liner with the other. Once the liner is removed, spray a liberal amount of the alcohol solution on the exposed adhesive. Also, spray the area of the vehicle where the pattern is to be applied so the pattern can move freely on the surface. Apply the pattern so it is positioned evenly around the edges of the mirror. Squeegee the inside edge of the pattern to lock it in place. Now, wet the adhesive side of the pattern and pull the pattern up against the mirror. This will reduce the amount of fingers present and allow you to squeegee the pattern in place. With firm pressure, squeegee from the inside edge of the mirror where the pattern was originally locked down to the outside edge of the mirror. Make sure you press hard enough so the squeegee takes the curved shape of the mirror and places the film down evenly. Rewet the mirror and squeegee with the remainder of the mirror pattern from the center up and down as shown here. Remember to spray any finger areas generously with the alcohol solution to quicken the setup time of the adhesive before squeegeeing into place. Now, squeegee any remaining fingers with the squeegee wrapped in a lint-free paper towel. It may be necessary to shape the fingers using a heat gun on a low setting as previously demonstrated. Now let's install the bumper piece. We will be using the reverse roll technique in this bumper installation example. Wet the bumper surface with the sliding solution and roll out the material as shown here. Once the material is on the vehicle, lift and spray the adhesive and outside of the material with a soap solution to easily position the pattern. Center the bumper piece and check to ensure the kit is positioned evenly. If not, reposition the kit and align properly. Once in position, Spray the alcohol solution under the upper and lower edges of the center of the pattern. Then, squeegee the center of the bumper piece to anchor it in place. Lift the outside edge of the bumper piece and spray the adhesive side with the alcohol solution. Place your hand on the outside of the pattern and pull the kit into place. Lock down the edge of the pattern along the headlamp piece and the outside of the bumper with your squeegee. This will keep the pattern in place and stop it from moving out of position during the remainder of the install.
pull the bumper piece up against the vehicle with your hand. This will cause the pattern to take the shape of the curved surface, making the install easier. While pulling, squeegee from the anchored section in the middle of the area of the pattern, just below the headlamp, locking it into place. Force the alcohol solution under the upper and lower edges of the pattern and squeegee in place. This will ensure the bumper pattern is secure and locked down. For areas of the pattern that do not sit flat on the bumper, spray under the pattern piece with the alcohol solution and push in place with your hand. Follow behind your hand with the squeegee and lock down in place. The felt squeegee is used in this example to allow the installer to press firmly and secure the pattern in place without damaging the film. Perform this technique for all severely curved areas. Using the polyethylene squeegee and the alcohol solution, squeegee down any remaining areas. Now, squeegee any remaining fingers with the squeegee wrapped in a lint-free paper towel.
If small fingers become difficult to remove, use a heat gun on the lowest setting and apply quick burst of heat to the fingers. Quickly follow behind with a squeegee wrapped in a lint-free paper towel. Clear Shield is designed to be a permanent application and is safe for all original equipment manufacturers paid finishes. However, if necessary, Clear Shield can be removed using the following procedure. If you are in a warm climate, place the vehicle in the sun for approximately 30 minutes to soften the adhesive. If in a cold climate, a heat gun applied evenly to the patterned surface will deliver the same effect. Begin by lifting one corner of the pattern and remove slowly and evenly at a steep angle away from the vehicle surface. If performed as shown here, the adhesive will come up with the film. Small amounts of adhesive may be left behind and can be removed using a general adhesive remover. Once all adhesive has been removed, wipe clean the vehicle surface. Clear Shield care and maintenance is easy and simple. Normal washing and waxing of the Clear Shield kit is all that's required. Hand application and removal of an automotive cleaner wax product will remove minor scratches and restore the luster and shine to the Clear Shield kit. Before final delivery of the vehicle to a customer, inspect the Clear Shield installation to ensure all edges are properly adhered to the vehicle. After carefully following these simple step-by-step -step instructions, the result is a professional, quality Clear Shield installation. And after you have it completed, you'll see for yourself exactly how easy Clear Shield is to install and the excellent invisible protection it provides as well. Spray the hood area with water to assist holding the pattern in place. Position the clear shield pattern on the hood facing down. Begin from one end and peel back the backing paper while holding the clear shield pattern on the hood. Remove the entire backing and begin to spray the pattern with mounting solution. Once the pattern is sprayed thoroughly, flip the pattern and position it centered on the hood. You will focus on the center point of the hood, but you may need to use other areas of focus to assure you have the material centered and aligned with the edge of the hood. You will then slightly lift the pattern to spray a mixture of alcohol and water underneath just this area. This will help in rapidly tacking this area to prevent movement when stretching is needed. With multiple squeegee passes, begin to squeegee the pattern from the center outward. Separate one area at a time, pushing excess water in two directions. This prevents water from one area having to travel so far and getting trapped along the way. Apply steam to make the material more pliable and easy to work with. As you apply the steam, the material will soften, allowing you to maneuver around and in curved areas. Work the material with your hand until it has taken shape. Create a bridge extending from one point to another by lifting the ending area and spraying with water and alcohol solution. Squeegee the area while aligning your edges at the same time. Continue to squeegee the area, separating half up and half down always paying close attention to the edges alignment. Use your hand to maneuver the material as needed while squeegeeing. Finish all the edges with the squeegee wrapped in a towel or use a Mac tack. Some fingers may form while squeegeeing. Rather than forcing them down, use the steamer to soften the material and form with your hand. As you see, the fingers become flat and can then be squeegeed with ease. When steam is applied to an area, be sure not to apply excessive pressure as the corners of the squeegee can catch and tug on the material. Wipe away the area and inspect. 
Each area completed should be inspected immediately. This will allow you to repair as needed. The benefit of SolarGuard ClearShield is its outstanding workability. When debris or misalignment is seen, the material can be carefully lifted away from the car body and cleaned or realigned. The material will stretch considerably during this process, but steaming the area before squeegee will allow the material to take original form. Again, steam the area while forming with your hand until molded to the area. And then follow up with the squeegee to remove water. Spray the hood area with water to assist holding the pattern in place. Position the clear shield pattern on the hood facing down. Peel back the backing paper while holding the clear shield pattern on the hood. Remove the entire backing and begin to spray the pattern with mounting solution. Once the pattern is sprayed thoroughly, flip the pattern and position it centered on the bumper. Due to the size of the bumper patterns, you may need assistance in transferring from the hood area. One person can hold each end while positioning on the bumper. Begin steaming the pattern to make it more pliable. When installing the bumper patterns, you must focus on one area at a time. When you begin from the center out, your next point of focus should be the next turn in the bumper. As you see here, the installer is focusing on the first point only steaming this area and squeegeeing this area. Again, separate the area from the top to bottom and squeegee with multiple passes, assuring all moisture is removed. Patterns are designed to be stretched for ease of installation. When you see an area that doesn't line up, steam the area and align the pattern with the body line. Again, moving to the next line as you move in one direction of the bumper. Lift the pattern and respray with solution as needed. Always pay close attention to the alignment along the body line. This will prevent the need for any trimming when installation is complete. Continue to one end of the car following each body line and pacing yourself by the next turn in the bumper. The corner of the bumper can be the most difficult. It's where most of the tension is. As the installer wraps the corner, he must look at two focus points, one being the turn at the fog light, the other being the side marker light. In instances like this, you can steam the area and focus on these two points alone. Tackle one at a time. Sometimes a little water and alcohol solution will help make sure your first or second squeegee pass holds the pattern in place so you can go to the next focus point. An area like the marker light where the pattern wraps around should be squeegeed completely up to an inch around. Again, as you need the material to tack more quickly, you can spray water and alcohol mixture to accelerate tack. Continue to squeegee the mounting solution to the edge of the film, working towards the marker light. Next, apply steam to the top area of the bumper. Work the film to match it with the top edge of the bumper, as shown here. Notice how the installer continues to work the film with his free hand until it reaches the desired location paying close attention to the top line of the bumper. The installer then makes overlapping passes with the squeegee until all of the mounting solution has been removed from under the film. Multiple passes will ensure all solution is removed, preventing any water from being left behind. We have now reached the final step to completing the bumper. The installer sprays mounting solution under the film and smooths out the pattern to match the bottom section of the bumper. Steam is applied to the area and the installer uses his free hand to maneuver the film, allowing it to mold to the contour of the bumper. Then, alternating between using a squeegee and more steam, the film is molded perfectly with the bottom edge of the bumper. All remaining mounting solution is squeegeed out from under the film. A final pass is made along the edges using a MacTac felt squeegee. This will drive any remaining water from under the film to the edge, where it is absorbed by the MacTac. 
A lint-free cloth is then used to wipe down the area. As you can see, installation of ClearShield can be made even easier using this steam technique.